Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 94 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a quick tip on using the graduated filter. Now, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure how useful this tip might be for you, but I often state that it's always good to have as many arrows in our quiver as possible because you never know when you might need one of those odd arrows. So what I have are two images and they're actually the same exact image. I just created a virtual copy of this beach scene and I chose this scene because it's very simple. There's not a lot in the shot and you'll more readily see the graduated filter as I apply it to the image. So we're going to start out with a typical graduated filter and I'm just going to take exposure all the way down, not for any aesthetic reason, it's just you'll really see what I'm doing as I apply the filter. And usually, but not always, but usually we're going to apply a graduated filter to the sky. And I'm going to do that to this image. So I'm just going to click somewhere up here in the sky and drag down. Now as I drag down, I want you to notice two things. The first thing I'd like you to notice is that there are three horizontal lines. And the top line is stationary. So as I move the, the mouse down, the other two lines are moving away from that top line. And of course, you could tilt it if you want. You could hold the shift key, and you probably know that, and it'll make it nice and square. So we could pull it straight down. But again, the first thing I want you to notice, there's three lines, and as I moved them or dragged it down, that top line was stationary. The second thing I want you to take note of is the graduation of the graduated filter. It's very shallow from the top to the middle line. But after the middle line, it becomes quite steep, and the effect quickly wears off between the t uh, middle line and the bottom line. So keep that in mind. Now we're going to go to the next image, which is, again, a virtual copy of that original image. And we're going to apply the same filter, except this time, when I apply it, I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key in when I do it. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. And I'd like you to note the lines, those three horizontal lines, when I do this. I'm clicking with the left mouse button and dragging down. Now, instead of the top line being stationary, the middle line is stationary. And the other two are moving away from the middle line. And I don't have to drag as far to get the lines to be further apart. So I could really apply the filter with less movement of the mouse. But I think the strength of this and where it might, now I use that word might, be applicable to use somewhere down the line is I'm going to delete it and I want you to notice that wherever I click while I'm holding the alter option key in, that is right where that middle line is. And so you could really pick the part of the image where you want that steep graduation to occur. So you have a little bit more control of where you have that steep graduation, where you want it to start or where you want it to begin. With the typical graduated filter, when you click and drag down, you're dragging down that steep point of graduation with you as you drag. So I, in my opinion, that may not, in some situations, give you as much control. So on this image, if I just want to affect the sky, I would click maybe here and hold that Alt or Option key in when I do it and do a drag. And I could really just then apply it very readily exactly where I want to apply it. Maybe even then I could reposition it so it's more so just affecting the sky, as you could see like that. And then in this case, the water and the sand are more unaffected compared to the sky. And you know on that typical graduated filter how you could hold the shift key in and it will make it real straight where it won't you won't tilt it at all with this filter you'd hold the shift key in along with that alt or option key and you could make it very square and straight it won't allow you to tilt it so this is really the tip you really have a little bit more control with this method of where this steep point of graduation occurs in your shot. Now, of course, in this image, I'm not going to make the top black, but maybe I want to increase the saturation of the sky, but I don't want to affect the water or the sand as much. And that's where this 
tip I think comes in more handy or comes in handy and might be more useful in some situations. So that's it for episode 94. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.